it's unfortunate because we are personal friends. Friends or not, Sandra Dowling is the kind of Republican Carrie Lake spent nearly two years calling names like Rhino or Republican in name only. Dowling is a longtime GOP activist who says she can't get on board with Lake's Senate campaign as long as she backs former President Donald Trump's agenda. The Make America Great Again um, zealots that are out there, um, I just think that they're they're they really need to focus on what's important and the things that they're focused on are not the things that I personally believe that we need in order to move this country forward. Last year, Lake narrowly lost her run for governor to Katie Hobbs. After winning the GOP primary, Lake turned on traditional conservatives like Dowling and others with comments like this. We drove a stake through the heart of the McCain machine. Recent polling shows Lake trailing the Democratic frontrunner Ruben Gallego in a potential three-way race with the state's independent senator, Kirsten Sinema. Sinema, a moderate, has yet committed to running. So Lake is reaching out to those moderate Republicans with an olive branch. Among those is Karen Taylor Robeson, who Lake tried to characterize as a gold digger in last year's primary election. Arizona's family confirmed the two former rivals recently met. You know... Dennis, it'll just be really hard for Carrie Lake to erase what she has said over the last two years. Republican consultant Barrett Marson says Lake has got her work cut out for her if she hopes to mend fences. She has said some god awful things about rhinos, moderate Republicans, even independent uh, voters who lean to the right. Uh, she has told them specifically to not vote for her, to uh, you know get out of the room. Lake's campaign confirms to Arizona's family that she has reached out to former political rivals, saying in a statement, we have a big cleanup job to get Arizona back on track from Cinema and Gallego's mess. The question now is, will it work? The effort to reach out to uh, people she has derided in the past is, is worthy. It's still, uh, I don't think that is enough to get the broader general public that rejected her last year to all of a sudden vote for her. Now, it is interesting by appealing to those moderates uh, and Republicans that she called a rhino. Some of the consultants I spoke with today told me that Lake risked turning off some of the voters who actually supported her last year because they really did like those kinds of things about Carrie Lake. Dennis, primary campaigns can get really bitter and personal. We remember the campaign between Carrie Lake and Karen Taylor Robeson uh, when they were running for governor. Um, what do we know? Anything else about the meeting between the two of them? Yeah, and that was a very bitter uh, primary race. Remember, Karen Taylor Robeson spent over $20 million of her, most of it, most of her own money right. out there running against her. And what's really interesting is we're not hearing any details about this. Now, normally when you get stuff like this confirmed and you're talking to people, if the meeting went well, you would mm -hmm. certainly get some, some, some one person involved, not both people involved. Those sides would say, hey, it went well, it went really well. We really, you know, found a lot of common ground and we think we can move forward. Didn't get that kind of uh, comment. And, you know, likewise, we didn't hear anything bad about what happened with the meeting. I guess the proof is going to be what do we see from Karen Taylor Robeson in the future? Remember, she can raise a lot of money. Uh, she's got access to those kind of big money donors and whatnot. Is she going to hold any fundraisers uh, for Carrie Lake? Moving on into this into this campaign cycle, is she going to be is, is Karen Taylor Robson going to donate money to Carrie Lake's campaign? Those are the kinds of things we'll have to wait and see what happens, and then we'll I guess we'll get a better judge uh, sense of what actually happened in that meeting. Like you said off the top, still a year out, a lot still can change. Out. It we'll is going to go by fast, yeah. though, for <laughs> sure. Dennis, thank you. Four hundred.